with the workspace, I'll figure it out, but in case you need to find out with the prismatic, I'll give you another way to do this, so that you're not bogged down by it. Once you define the manipulator, obviously plotting has a issue, it's not limited to our manipulator. I checked a few other manipulators, it has the same issue, so I'll I'll make a change in the plot command and I'll send you the new plot command M5. Okay, so <clears throat> when you have, when you want to check this, there is another way to check what we get numerically without actually seeing this. The command is called fkind, F-K-I-N-E. Okay, this is forward kinematics. So here what you do is, it will give you a matrix, so if I say A, it will give you F kind will be F, the name of the robot, comma, Q, Q is the joint vector. So whatever I gave you in the tabular column, if you give Q, comma the name of the vector, you will get A manipulator like this. For example. Let's take this manipulator that we set up and we have a, we are having an issue plotting it. So let's say that we have this, I'm just going to comment this line. We have, let me get rid of this for a moment. Okay, R3 is the manipulator, right? So now you'll see that we have R3, have I commented that? Yeah, I have suppressed this, let me do that and let's run this, here we go. So we have R3 here, okay. So what I want to do is do F kind, so uh, it is a RRP manipulator, okay. So let me set up a joint vector, so Q will be equal to, let's say pi by two, minus pi by four, 
and b let's say i'm going to give it as 0.2 okay this is my vector okay this is my joint vector now what i can do is i can find f prime forward kinematics of r3 comma q okay so this matrix x y z this is your x y z this is the rotation matrix okay this is the rotation matrix you can read off x y and z from here okay so this will give you r b 0 1 okay so r b 0 1 you have your rotation matrix x y z b is x y z and 1 so this is what it is this is your r d without plotting it it will give you this so uh, in the meanwhile, till I figure out the plotting issue, what I want you to do for the second manipulator is check it out like this, okay? Test it out like this. Actually, when you multiply A1, A2, A3, you should exactly get this matrix. When you multiply B03, you should get this matrix like this, okay? When you do that, all right? So, let's stop here.